Hi everyone. Uh, today we will be doing a Newton Raphson method. We will develop a code for that. So what you have to do is you have simply open the editor and you can write edit and the editor will be open here. Uh, so there. Now we will write the uh, code over here. Uh, so first you have to clear all the variables that you have created and then clear the screen. Uh, now you have to uh, assign few variables. Now what this SYMS do is it just simply creates a variable x. Uh, now we would like to uh, create another variable that is fun function and what it simply does is it will take an input from the user enter the function as a variable facts <coughs> now we will inline that function as you know that uh, in Newton Raphson method uh, we also take the derivative of that function so uh, we would like to store the derivative and the, de the command for the derivative is diff we would like to function x we would like to take the derivative of this uh, we will again inline this function Z. I should just put enter yeah so f1 that I will restore now uh, we would like to take the starting point of that interval I mean uh, if the interval is from suppose 1 to 2 so we would like to put 1 into that so we would like to take input the initial well yeah interval and then we will store it in X hmm. now we would like to uh, iterate our loop so i starts from 0 to infinity uh, we'll store the value of x in y and then from as we know that uh, from Newton uh, Raphson method uh, p is equals to p of n minus 1 so the new variable is x so we would like to take uh, the previous value minus the function uh, of that previous value so it's f of x you can also write f of y but uh, it simply means that what value you want to exactly put over here uh, divide by f one of x that is the derivative so what this is p of n minus 1 minus a uh, function of p of n minus 1 and over the derivative of p of n minus 1 so now what well, this condition is what matters uh, what this does simply is that it compares the new value this is the new value and this is p n minus 1 so when it approximately equals to the new value I mean the previous pn minus 1 is equals to p of n means that the tolerance is equals to 0 then break the loop and 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 now uh, if we note uh, something that i is iterating over this loop and when the point pn 
and pn minus 1 equals so we end up with this loop so f print the total number of iterations are and they are actually i and the number that we get is actually x so we would like to save it and we would like to run it now when we run it uh, it asks us the enter the function as a variable of x so we will put the function over here so this is our function exponent x plus 2 power minus x plus 2 cos x minus 6 and you just have to enter it now they are asking the initial value of the interval so that is 1 and there you go this is the number of iterations uh, that actually take place to uh, get that tolerance and this is the exact point. So thank you for watching that.